What is up guys, it's Fixin' Fami here, and today we are doing a full restoration and upgrade on this Alienware R7. So yeah guys, if you didn't already see the video, I uh, got this in a lot of stuff from my buddy. So thank you very much to him again. If you didn't see the video, I'll leave it right here, right now. So. This has a i5 8th gen in it and a very, very crappy RX 560X. It's a very crappy low profile card and yeah, it's, it's terrible. So today we're going to be going ahead and cleaning this out, upgrading it and uh, yeah. And then we're going to put it to the test and see how much better it gets. So the upgrades we have here are... A brand new 980 Ti. Yes, this is an older card, but it is still perfect for this combo right here. I have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 Rip Jaws, and I have a 256 gigabyte M.2 SSD. So let's go ahead and let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on, do 3D Mark first and we'll see how bad of a score it will get all right let's go ahead and let's get started with the test benching so i don't have a capture card so this is kind of like very scuffed but oh well let's go ahead and let's get started Alright, so the RX 560 got 129, which is uh, a little weird. Uh, Cinebench has been pretty weird lately. I don't know what it is, but that is definitely a lot more than it should be normally. So let's go ahead and let's run the CPU. All right, so the i5 got a 774. So let's go ahead and let's move on to 3D Mark. All right, let's go ahead and let's get started with the 3D Mark test. All right, so it finished, we got a 2192, which is not good at all. Okay, so there's the full specs right there, 16 gigabytes of RAM and an i5-8400. So now that we've finished that, let's go ahead and take it outside, clean it out, and uh, we can get started on the upgrading. So this is the point in the video where I take over with a voiceover. The wind outside was awful that day, so all you hear in the microphone is wind noise. Uh, so pretty much to sum this up, I'm going to blow it out with a uh, air compressor, then we're going to bring it back inside, reapply the thermal paste, upgrade it, and then it will be done. All right guys, I went ahead and got all the dust out of the computer. So let's go ahead and let's get to the upgrading. So this is a uh, kind of a unique computer than what normally uh, computers are. Sorry, I can't speak today. So this computer opens a little bit different as it is a pre-built Alienware. You just pull the handle back here and the side panel will come off. 
So that's all it is to it. Let's go ahead and let's get started. So we'll go ahead and pop the side panel off. And that reveals the inside of this, which is pretty cramped. So all we have to do, pop these two little clips in the back. And this just slides up like that. So pretty easy, nothing too difficult. Next part, we'll go ahead and get out this super crappy little graphics card. There we go, we got it out. I will be using this in another build, so stay tuned to that. I'm gonna put that off to the side. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and take out this RAM real quick. This has definitely been upgraded before, as you can tell by the two Let's see, come on. The two Viper sticks and the one single eight gigabyte SK Hynix stick in here. Normally this rig just comes with the one eight gigabyte stick, but luckily whoever owned this last upgraded it a little bit better. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and take off the CPU cooler to replace the thermal paste. And there we go. Wow, this thermal paste is really bad. So I'm really glad we are replacing it. All right, I went ahead, cleaned up the fan, took it all apart and stuff. Now, it's perfect. So, I got some Arctic MX4. I'm gonna go ahead and put some thermal paste on and we'll keep building this thing up. All right, there we go, thermal paste has been replaced. So, let's go ahead and put our two new RAM sticks in. There we go, our RAM is now installed. So, let's go ahead and let's put our M.2 in. And there we go, our M.2 is now in. Let's go ahead and let's unbox our brand new 980 Ti. This card is an oldie, but still a goodie and runs most games at pretty high settings these days, which is still pretty impressive. Here we are. This thing is brand new, which is awesome. This is actually pretty crazy that I was able to get my hands on a brand new 980 Ti, especially since these things are pretty old. We'll go ahead, we'll get that peel. Perfect. And let's go ahead and let's install it. All right, put our uh, power to it. And there we go. Everything is now installed. This graphics card is gigantic. This is the si same, pretty much the same size and design as a 1080 Ti. So it is pretty dang big. So now that we're done with that, we'll go ahead, close it up, lock it down throw our side panel on it 
and let's go ahead and fire it up and do some tests. Right, let's go ahead and let's get started with the benchmarking. I still have all my stuff on the hard drive, so this is all running off the hard drive, so it is a little slower. I wasn't able to clone the OS off the hard drive and put it on the SSD, uh, so the M.2 has a brand new copy of Windows on it with the Alienware uh, editing stuff. So it's actually better because it's not as much bloatware as what it comes with. So when I'm done with the benchmarking, I will be erasing this hard drive so then I could set up the uh, SSD as the boot device and the hard drive as the game device. So let's go ahead and let's get to testing. All right, looks like we're done, and we got a score of 4,775. That is about double what this thing used to be with this piece of crap card right here. So that is awesome, that is much better. Let's go ahead and let's run Cinebench. All right, we got Cinebench up. Let's go ahead and let's run it. Alright, so it got a 116.5, so like I said earlier, it is not accurate at all. So if you see right here, you, apparently the RX 560X got better, but that's not true at all. The 980 Ti is a lot better than the RX, 5, 6, RX 560X, as you can tell in the 3 d Mark test. So we'll go ahead and just run the processor real quick. And uh, yeah, it's not very accurate. I don't really use Cinebench much anymore because of that issue. All right, we got 904 on the, uh, on the CPU test. Not bad at all, like I said, not very accurate. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and download a bunch of games and we'll go ahead and do the benchmarks on those games. All right guys, went ahead and tested some games, tested Fortnite and CSGO. Didn't really test anything else as I don't really wanna download much on here. Um, it ran all of them on medium to high settings, 60 frames per second, no problem. So that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Also, subscribe if you're new. I'd really appreciate it. So yeah, guys, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.